Hey, what's up? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Forecap Upscaler. Um, on this video, I just want to explain some misconception that people have about the LCD, LED backlit, and then the OLED. Um, what I'm going to talk about here in five minutes, it's something that's a fact. You know, whether you like it or don't, whether you can go to sleep with this fact or you can function without hearing this fact, that's nothing I can do about it. This is a fact. F-A-C-T. All right, here's the fact. What you're looking at here, it's an OLED. Okay, what is OLED? It's organic light emitting diode. What does that mean? It means that there's nothing behind the panel to emit the light. Let me repeat that one more time so that people understand. There's nothing behind to emit the light. However, on this side, where you're watching the Joe Rogan, there is a QLED. It's an LCD panel with a QLED quantum dot technology, but behind it, it's an LED backlit, full array of LED backlits right behind it. So that means that the light it's emitting from behind the LCD panel, and therefore it's going to be impossible to make every and each pixel be perfectly lit. While over here, that's not the case because here you have a every and each pixel emitting by itself. Okay? And I think this is something that some people, well, not some people, this is the toxic issue and problem with a lot of these brand fanboys because they will defend their brand or they will defend their technology no matter what without even understanding how technology works. Me, I'm not defending anything here. I'm just giving you the facts. I have both. I have QLED and OLED, as you can see right there. There's the uh, QLED, there's the OLED. Okay, this does not look like somebody who is being a fan of either of these two TVs. I'm just simply here to tell you the fact. And the fact is this is emitting every and each pixel by itself, okay? The QLED can't do that because it's not emitting every and each pixel by itself. Remember, this is not a comparison video. This is just simply me stating the obvious fact. The obvious fact is that a QLED, it's an LCD panel. It's still an LCD panel because behind the LCD there are LED backlits. LEDs are emitting the light, that peak brightness, luminous light that's coming from behind. Okay? It just so happens that it has quantum dot technology built on that LCD panel as well that helps emit that full wide color gamut spectrum of colors. But you're never going to be able to achieve the deep dark levels that the OLED has. The only thing you can achieve on the LCD LED backlit is the brightest peak brightness with nano, uh, Nanosys uh, quantum dot technology that helps enhance that full white color gamut of wider spectrum of colors, which makes the HDR look more vibrant and, and more brighter. But if you want every and each pixel to emit by itself, red, green, blue, white, if you want every and each pixel to emit by itself, then the OLED is that TV. Now, granted, OLED has, in my opinion, the best possible picture quality that you can get. However, I did talk about the... Um, the elephant in the room, which is the burn-in and retention on the screen. Okay? So, I don't understand why it's so hard for people, to, for people to understand that both technologies are different. I'm not here to tell you go with the OLED or go with the QLED. I'm just here to tell you that these two technologies are different. They operate differently. It's like fire and water. They're two different things. I don't know why is that so hard to understand. All right. Thank you for watching. Have a good one, guys. Take care.